Remember the stadium wave, where a waving motion is translated through thousands of people? A similar principle can be used to illustrate the difference between P waves and S waves. My 8th grade science class will use human waves as an analogy for how P and S seismic waves travel through the Earth. The instructions were given to the students to stand side by side with their feet about shoulder width apart to hold against sideways motion. The group should not be too rigid or too limp when nudged from the side. In other words, they should be elastic. Also, prior to the demonstration, arrange participants by height so as to more easily accommodate the S-wave motion when putting arms over shoulders. Solid because we have our what? Arms, arms length. So our arms length, so we're, we're tightly bound to the, solid, to the particle next to you. So we're going to do two trials. I'm going to time them. We're going to do two trials of each, and we're going to record the times and then find the average time when we get back to class. Okay? So eyes straight ahead. This is a solid P wave going through, straight through. Eyes straight ahead. And here we go. That took four seconds, 4.8 seconds, 4.8. So Quinn, 4.8, trial one. And this is going to be trial number two, eyes straight ahead. Okay, 4.8, exactly, on the nose. That's amazing. Okay, so 4.8, 4.8, okay. okay. All right, so, sorry. Uh, so this time we're gonna do the shoulder to shoulder. That is the S wave going through the solid. The solids are still linked, but it moves in a different manner. It moves side to side through the solid substance. So here we go. So now, so look straight ahead. Feel the wave come to you. That's when you go down and then come back up quickly. Ready? All right, that was 7.12, 7.12. All right, we'll try another trial. I, practice, I promise I'll start at this time. Eyes straight ahead. You guys doing great? Eyes straight ahead. Eight point zero. All right. Now we're going to try it. Arms down. So go ahead and put your arms down. Stretch yourselves out. Okay. So this time we're going to do it a little differently. We're still going to model moving through um, solids. But we're gonna do it with the hands locked. So this time we're just gonna uh, stand shoulder to shoulder. And so we're gonna do basically the same way. So I'm gonna, the P wave is going to come through straight, pushing on the particle next to you. Nine. To do the S wave, do the solids. When you feel it coming, if this arm goes up, this arm goes up and then back down. Cool. All right, 8.19. The data table below shows the trial times and calculated averages for the seismic wave speeds in the demonstration. Note how the S wave travel time comes to about 55% that of P waves, which is within reason for actual travel time differences. Now, 8.19. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to try to imitate the, the, the consistency of the Earth. So we're going to have solid crust and uh, the rocky mantle, and then we're gonna have a section of liquid outer core, then we're gonna have a couple people of solid inner core, then we're gonna have a few people of liquid outer core, and then the rest will be solids, okay? So let's have about up to here, you guys are all going to be solid, okay? You guys right here will be, uh, you guys will be liquid, you three will be solid. Yay! Cool. You four will be liquid. <laughs> and you guys are solid. Okay? Alright, so that's about it. So what we're gonna do is to model a solid, you're gonna be standing just like you did before, with the arms, with your hands clenched. Except that at the boundary, so Jack and Lydia and you guys at the boundary, you guys are touching, but so you guys will be holding hands because you are touching. Okay? But you two aren't going to hold hands because you're liquid molecules and so you, so you, uh, you can move freely and independent of each other. Likewise over here, you guys are going to be holding hands because you are touching, but you guys won't be holding hands because, because you, you're liquid molecules and so you move independently of each other. Wait, so okay? solid and liquid. And so the solids, you guys will be holding hands because you're, you're solid molecules and are holding hands. Okay? Okay. 
So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to model the layers of the earth in terms of consistency by holding hands. So if you're a solid, go ahead and hold hands. If you're a liquid, just stand shoulder to shoulder. Okay? On toes on the line. Toes on the line. Toes on the line. And we still need your shoulder to shoulder. So you're still going to be relatively touching. So we need to tighten this up a little bit. Scoot down just a shake. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, so some people are holding hands, some people aren't. So we're going to do the P wave to show that P waves, well, what do you think is going to happen with the P wave? Whether we're holding hands or not, what's going to happen with the P wave? We're going to hit each other. Killing? What's going to happen? Everyone's going to move because everyone's relatively touching and the motion of the particles is bumping into the one next to it, okay? The S wave, how does the S wave move with this? Very good, by raising your hand. So, if your hand goes up, you pull your hand up. But if your hand is not linked to anything, when you go up, is the person next to you going to move? No. So we're going to see what happens. Okay, here we go. Here's a P wave. Here's a P wave traveling through. So, hold hands if you need to. Don't hold hands if you don't. Eyes straight ahead. We'll time it just for the giggle, just for giggles. And heads up, straight ahead. Okay, 4.9. Very similar to what, to what it was before. And that's expected, right? Because it's still moving through, whether it's a solid or liquid. The P wave is still going through, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try what happens with the S wave. So think to yourself, what is gonna happen when the S wave comes through? Amelia, what do you think is going to happen when the S wave comes well, through? The people who are holding hands are going to do that, but the people who aren't, they're just going to stay here. Right. And so what's going to happen to the wave? It's going to stop. When it gets to the? The people who aren't holding hands and the liquids. Very good. So it's going to stop when you get to the liquid. So let's just prove that. Okay? So hold hands if you're solid, let go if you're a liquid. And here comes the S wave. And there you go. Okay? Did the wave get to you? Why are you guys raising your hands? Did the wave get to you? This is false. Did the wave get to you? Well, it now. <laughs> How did it get to you, though? Through everything. No, it, the S wave doesn't travel through the liquids. So how did the S wave get to you? Magic wave. Over. Ah, now Cody, you raised an important point. It went over. So here's what's really interesting. I'll show you this when we get back to the room. That the waves actually do get to the other side, but they <laughs> bounce off the inside of the earth before they get there. And that is totally cool. So we'll look at that when we get back to the room.